All right, guys, today I am here with Guga. Now, if you don't know who Guga is, you're missing out. This guy is an amazing cook who focuses on sous vide, steak, and all the most amazing side dishes you've ever or never heard of. And more steak. And more steak. <laughs> That's he's, right. he's got several amazing channels, all of which you should definitely check out. And he is graciously hosting for this video because I've got an experiment that I've always wanted to try related to steak, and he's the expert. Uh, I just gotta say one thing, everybody. I'm very happy that this one is going on your video, on your channel, not on mine. <laughs> Guga has a lot of great videos talking about the very best ways to cook steak. And unfortunately, that is not what we're doing today. Today's goal is actually to ruin steak a little bit intentionally. We, for science. For science, which okay. is very important. <laughs> so here's the idea. For much of my life, I've been told that if you overcook a steak, if you cook a steak to well done, then it ruins it so completely that there's no point in even using high quality meat. You should just go with the choice grade, the very lower mid grade of what you'd ever find at like a restaurant. There's no point in having prime or wagyu because you've ruined it so much. That's not true. I, I can tell you already because if you overcook one steak that has no fat inside and you cook a steak that has a lot of fat inside, come on now. That's been my experience as well. I Now, I want to say, I want to make this very clear. I'm not saying you should cook steaks well done. Be that clear is, that you like that medium is, rare. I do. That <laughs> well done is overdone. It's overcooked. It's, you could say even it's burnt. It's too much cooking. You shouldn't do it that way. But what I am wanting to test today is if you can tell the difference between a choice grade, a prime grade, and a Wagyu grade steak if you cook all of them to well done. So we are going to be ruining three steaks today by cooking them well done, and I'm sorry to do that to it you. It is a sad day I in know. Nate from the internet channel, everybody. I'm, I know. <laughs> but, hey, all for science. But for science, I want to see if you can tell the difference because, look, I don't like it that way, but also, everyone gets to choose. If you are out there and you like your steak well done, okay, you can, you can cook it well done and put ketchup on it if you want. I think it's ridiculous, but it's food. You get to do it how you like. I just want to test, if you do like it cooked well done, is it worth getting the better quality meat or should you just stick with the cheap stuff? I agree 100%. There's only one way to find out is that's to run the experiment. I've ruined a lot of steaks. I know a lot of people <laughs> love well done steaks. I don't get it because if you blindfold someone and you put the both options, medium rare and well done, if they are blindfolded, they don't see any pinkness. They will go for the medium rare every single time. But for some reason, the pink, the redness. It throws some people off, they yeah. can't handle it. Well, So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna take three steaks, we're going to prep them all identically, we're gonna get them ready, we're gonna season them the same, we're going to cook them on a charcoal grill, we're gonna overcook all of them to that well done temperature. I think we're gonna be going for about 160 Fahrenheit. That should give us a nice grayish brown Nate, all the way through. Nate, that's a crime. I know, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> we're committing state crimes on purpose. We're gonna cook it all the way through and we are going to see if we can tell the difference after they've all been cooked that much. Enough talking, let's get these steaks. Let's do it. Oh, I like it, let's do it. Okay, we'll get back to the steaks in just a second, but first, let's take a moment to hear from today's sponsor, NordVPN. Do you know what a man in the middle attack is? A falsely named free Wi-Fi, maybe at a restaurant or a hotel, could be an unsecured trap, giving access to your computer and data to a stranger with bad intentions. Well, you can protect yourself from these kinds of attacks using NordVPN to encrypt your data. Unfortunately, there are shady people out there who want your data for nefarious reasons, but NordVPN makes it super easy to protect yourself online with one-click security, or you can even set up auto-connect for zero-click security. And what makes NordVPN great? Well, it routes your internet traffic through one of their 5,400 plus servers around the world to keep your browsing safe. And in case that's not enough, you can now enable a double VPN to route your traffic through two servers, doubling the encryption. Additionally, NordVPN now includes anti-malware with their threat protection. It blocks intrusive ads and web trackers and scans for malicious URLs. It doesn't take much work to raise your level of internet security and you'll be glad that you did. Get your exclusive NordVPN deal here. It's risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Now, I hope I've grilled some good security ideas into your heads. Now let's head back to the grill. All right, Nate, you got some beautiful steaks going on right here. We do, we've got a choice grade steak, we've got a prime grade steak, and we've got a Wagyu. And you were saying this is a, a, a marbling score eight? Eight, nine. Eight or nine, all yeah. right, there you go. Well, that's, I mean, that's pretty dang good. And we've got, these are all ribeyes, right? Correct, all or every single one of them. Now, for a lot of people that don't understand the grading, what it means is just the amount of fat that's inside of the steak, everybody. These little white spectacles you see, that's the grading. We've got, Are you we've sure got you want to do this? I'm very sorry, but yes. Okay, very good. All right, I just want to again, make sure. Again, it's for science. For science. <laughs> Time for seasoning. All right, let's go for it. Uh, we're going for classic. We're doing salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Can't go wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of salt is this? This, is, this seems salt. like this seems Close, like good salt. salt. All right. No, no, nothing fancy. Here, I'll give you a hand. Thank you. Always freshly ground black pepper, everybody. It is better. Uh, it makes a difference. It makes. A, I don't know the science. What's the science? Uh, I don't know. It probably just goes stale if you get yeah previously ground. Yeah, it's like grounds. everything. Like if you don't, uh, you know, fresh is better. Garlic powder. Mm. Yes, and the most sorry. important part of a seasoning a steak, you know what it is? Season all sides. Exactly. Thank you, <laughs> Nate. What's the strangest seasoning or topping you've ever put on a steak that you thought was actually like beneficial? That you were like, wow, that actually was really good. I'm surprised. Mac and cheese seasoning. Mac and cheese seasoning. I really thought that it was gonna be disgusting. I promise you, I thought this is just a terrible idea. When I ate the steak, I was like, I cannot believe that this is actually good. <laughs> oh. I put a lot of crazy stuff, but that mac and cheese, just the color of it. And we were, we were talking earlier about how you've also done like the powdered milk. Mm -hmm. and, and that was a good thing. I wonder if the mac and cheese is like, like it's gotta be partially powdered milk, right? Like it's powdered cheese, like it's, I wonder if it's similar. Probably has some of it. Yeah. But uh, that MSG in there too makes some mm. tasty stuff. MSG for is, uh, yeah, that's that's a good one. All right. Well, time to fire up the grill and let's do it. Ruin these. Enough talking. For the record, Lump. no, this is not the same as eating a cooked ste a steak that's been cooked well done. This is charcoal. There is a difference. Again, I don't like a steak well done. It's not that bad. It's a very small difference. Angel thinks very it's close. Very small difference, kind of close. Science! <laughs> How do you feel, Google? Not good, not good, I'll be honest. I, I, that little tear just came out, you just can't see it. <laughs> all right, all three of our steaks have been cooked to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which is ruining them, but some people like it that way. So not not trying to be, too, I'm being judgmental. I'm judging you, but you get to do it anyway. Uh, but now we're going to, before we taste them, we're gonna cut into them and see how they look. What are you thinking? Just grayish brown all the I way through? I want to cry, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't have words, but let's, uh... let's see what we've got. This here is the choice grade, the lowest grade steak that we have. We're gonna start here. We're gonna take a couple slices and see what it's looking like we're gonna look at each one of them before we start doing any tasting. Very good, all right, very good. So let's give it a go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Where's the juice? What happened to the juice, Nate? We boiled it away. <laughs> See, what I really like is uh, is you have this, this 
well done ring around the middle and and then the inside which is also just well done all the way through. Oh, wonderful. You know? It looks phenomenal everyone. Yeah. What can I tell you? Brilliant. Wow. Look at those well done slices. How wonderful is that? Probably the worst cooked steak that Guga has ever done for a video which is why it's on my channel and not his. <laughs> Look at that, that is that looks like roast beef right there. Anything passes this, just grab a piece of charcoal and put it in there and serve it, that's pretty good. But that's what, that's what we're finding out today, isn't it? Very good. That's what we're testing. All right, all right, primer. All right, so Let's this should be it. probably the exact same color. Hey, that looks like the same color. How Overcooked wonderful. all the way through. But because it has a little bit of fat, more fat, you can see that there is, you see that? The, the texture, yeah, those diagonal lines coming through it, yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit of juice still remains in there. There's oh, a bit of a uh, something, something. Something, hmm? something. That's what I'm counting on is I'm, I'm saying this is going to be different. That's why we're experimenting, this exact experiment. <laughs> But I will say it's more juicy. If you ask than me, the, the real one. travesty in the world, this is the real problem. Is there are some people who would look at this? You can see how the inside is like cooked all the way through, but it's like a very slight pink tint to the gray. Some people would even that be like, uh, I think it's too, and they'd ask for it more. They just want it like gray. Terrible. Guys, don't do it. This is cooked. It's healthy. It has a texture of cooked meat. It's not slimy. It's not bleeding. None of that. Don't go past. Don't go to here. This is too far already. But definitely don't go past. Absolutely. 100% agree. <laughs> All right. Let's see how our Wagyu is doing. Man. Let's see if we get more of it with our better steak. Let's find out right now. Oh, we see got some much, real overcooked spot over there. It looks see how like, much but, barbling this has? More yep. all of the fat, even yeah, though it has fat. It's not just lines this way. It's kind of the lines yeah. every way. Even though we have more fat, there's no juice. There's no juice. I quit. Nate, I'm out. That does look so dry. Oh my goodness, you were right. Yep. Look at that. That, oh man, that does have a good amount of marbling in it. You're licking your fingers. Why I'm you licking my fingers because it tastes good. And juice and garlic and salt and pepper. All right, so we give this a try. Let's do it. Let's get all three on our board. I don't think Guga is ever going to invite me back to his studio after this. It's a very sad day in today at Google School's house, everybody. You I'm just, not going to lie. You just have to think of this as purely a science experiment, not a cooking experiment. I always say on my videos, don't judge it until you try it. But this one, literally, there's no juice. The juice is gone. It was so we dry. We were cutting it. Like, usually you cut a good steak and, like, it's Look, kind of pouring I'll out. I'll be honest with you. It is the first time that the outer crust has more juice than the inside. I've never seen anything <laughs> oh, like yeah, it. That's so, true. it's a first for me. All right. Enough talking? Yeah. <laughs> if, you can, if you can successfully skewer a piece. I can't. I oh, there you go. take some doing. Usually, whenever I cut a steak, you still see oh, yeah. pieces left oh, yeah. on that board. You know, there's none here, everybody. It's All like right. a sponge. So we are starting with our choice grade. Yep. And this is well done. Cheers, I guess. Cheers, my friend. To you. <laughs> Very dry. It's boring. It's very dry. To me, that's the biggest thing that stands out. Extremely dry. As you chew it, usually like with good steak, it's like, oh, it's juicy. It's like I'm eating the, the Sahara Sparrow. Desert. <laughs> this is like a, a roast beef with no gravy. It's the desert. Mm. I think it's the first time I'm going to ask for water whenever I'm trying a steak. It's possible. That's rough. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It hurts to go down. A little bit. All right. <laughs> I... Do not want my steak cooked like that. I do not. That right. is too much for me. And Second I dislike one. it. Prime. Let's see if any of the fat actually made a difference yeah. between them. We have a prime grade steak here. Cheers, Nate. It's not much better. I will say that is that's minimal. I would say if this is um, Minus zero. This one is a zero. Mm. There you go. F and F minus. <laughs> There's not that much difference. It's not. I do think it has a little more flavor and a little more tenderness, but the dryness 
yeah. is so extreme yeah. that it's almost negating the difference entirely. I 100% agree. The thing is that my mouth is dry. There's no juice left. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. I, I absolutely do. Dry, dry, dry. Oh, dry, you can dry. squeeze it. There's nothing there. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's move up one more grade. All right, so this is a Wagyu. This oh, is uh, man. literally crying. You would, you would be hard pressed to find a steak in a good, like a big city at a good restaurant. You would be hard pressed to find somewhere that serves steak as good as this was before we overcooked it. So, uh, a little bit, uh, I would say, I think this steak literally cost about $150. Per steak, and uh, that is not cooked on a restaurant. In a restaurant setting, it would probably be like a five hundred dollars steak. And if you ask for it this well done, they might just say no. Yeah. Like the chef might just be like, "We can't do that. I'm sorry." Not, not with that steak. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if the fat makes any difference. Actually, it does. That's that's a huge difference. Okay. It's now, more juicy, but not no. I'm not. I'm not saying that this is how you want your steak done. Because this, you know, and I know how much better that would be. Yeah. We know it would be worlds better if sure. it were properly cooked. But you would never say that that and that are the same if you I'll got say a restaurant. This. I don't like it. That's fair. But if you ask me if the fat made it better because of this steak and this steak, yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's if you like your steaks well done, if you are one of those people, you're gonna enjoy that one way more. Yeah. It's, you're gonna be like, wow, that's so much better than what I'm used to. But if you cook it medium rare, you're gonna enjoy it even more. We agree on that? Yeah, in <laughs> fact, so much so that I am even going to say that I was wrong about part of my prediction. Mm. I think I would prefer one of the lower grades cooked correctly over this Wagyu being overcooked. Oh no, that's okay. I, I would I would definitely pick the lower grade cooked right. I I thought the difference was gonna be small. There is a difference, but not as much as I thought. Here's what I will say, you know um, what is it? USDA. USDA has four types of grading. A lot of people don't know that, okay? They have obviously select that everyone knows. They have choice and they have prime. But they have one that you guys don't know. It's called no row. No row means that it's not for human consumption. Give me that one perfectly cooked instead of the Wagyu, mm. okay? <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> not for human consumption. Yeah, I don't think I'd go that far, but, but. Oh, guys, please don't eat your steak like this. The question is, do you think it's worth spending $150 on this steak and having it well done versus on this one that you can buy literally for 10 bucks and then cook this one well done? Is it that much better that we'll literally have somebody pay for an overcooked steak? So like for this? me, no. I, I would rather go for the, the Texas Roadhouse house or the Outback Steakhouse level because they're usually doing choice. Yeah. I would rather have that and have them cook it correctly. Yes. But if the person can only eat their, the, you know, say they can't stomach any pinkness at all. If they're like, I have to have it well done or I can't eat it. If they're that type of person, you are going to get a better steak if, if you're getting the better grade. I have a better solution if you like something well done, okay? Don't order a steak, order a short rib. It will be gray, will be so delicious that you will have a much better experience, juicy, tender on your mouth, and will be better. Every cut of beef is gonna have the proper way to cook it. Steak, the proper way to cook it is to not go to this temperature. But there's a lot of cuts that are the proper you go to this temperature and they're fantastic. Yeah, short get, rib is one of them. Get one of those. Yeah. You're gonna have a much better time. The chef won't be mad at you. It's a win all around. This is a. This was a great experiment. I said this. I'm glad. Very happy. A great that, science experiment, not a great cooking experiment. I'm very happy that we made this in your <laughs> channel because I don't want to put it on my channel. That's fair. <laughs> but at the same time, I've learned something. I was curious when you brought it up to me. I'll be honest. I was like, it's wagyu. Of course, everything tastes good if it's wagyu. But that's not the case. Yeah. All right, guys. If there are any other experiments like this you want to see, things that you've always heard people say about food or not about food. Let me know, I'd love to try them out. If it has to do with ruining steak, we probably won't have Guga again because I don't think his heart can handle it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, but this has been great. Thank you so much for having me here. Guys, if you don't know his channels, Guga Foods, Guga and Sous Vide Everything, you gotta go watch him. He's got so much cool stuff on there. Thank you, Nate. Check Thank him out. Thank you for coming by, it was a great time. 
Look forward to seeing you again. Oh, you're gonna let me come back? Yeah, Even but, after this? I, I just won't let you overcook the steak again. That's fair. Yeah. I appreciate that. I don't want to. <laughs> I, I've done my experiment. I hope I never cook a steak this much again in my life. I know you don't like it because we've been talking for a long time, so I know this is just for the video. Absolutely. So you are forgiven. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.